What is going on guys? Chu here, bringing you my live reactions on <laughs> probably the series that no one really pays attention to and I hate that, but it's one of my favorites, Saikano Koisuro Metronome. We're almost to the end guys, um, if you guys have been keeping up with it, I will let you know that once, well firstly, thank you for keeping up with it because honestly I love, it's my waifu, uh, Utaha. Uh, not a lot of people know that she is my waifu honestly and i i really love her but enough of that uh the the chapter there's only like two or three more chapters left in the story and i know that both chapter 48 and 49 have come out but i will do separate reviews for that simply because i don't want people to just have a long review or re live reaction i don't want to i don't want to make it too long so i want to go ahead and just do the first chapter hopefully my monday i'll have the action the second part of the, the chapter 49 this live reaction out for you guys so if you guys are in a fan of it stay tuned for it uh, i'd greatly appreciate it but kind of giving you a recap of what's been going on uh utah has been in a funk all ever since she was told that her character was not going to be the one selected for, I guess, for the f happy ending. She was going to be left out. Uh, and Tomoya has been rather careless uh, about it. And now Sagiri has kind of tried to help him out to kind of, you know, you got to make her feel better. And now Tomoya is going to try to hopefully do something in order to m make things better. But they're going to hopefully work together i mean i think that would make sense for both sagiri and tomoe to work together and actually do something but we'll see without further ado let's get right into it postponed sagiri's talking i'm sorry sagano sensei i regret having to make you hold back your schedule as i ask you to please keep working for the ninth volume pending for a while Apparently there was disagreements. She's not too happy to see this. Uh, and now we have Mashida talking to, to Tomoya. And he's definitely not looking well. He's looking kind of rough. Uh, let's see. Sagari's talking to Tomoya. He's like, when are we starting again? And he's like, I'm sorry. I can only say until something we agree on is written yeah well things are not looking good uh, on Otaha and Tomoya's part and it's affecting Sagari of course can you match the last volume with the anime ending this is his request if the source failed because it tried to match the anime that would be a reversal of the usual and he was looking defeated as he's talking If there are any new developments, I'll contact you. Uh, Sagara's not happy. Oh, well, Sagari's not happy. Oh, Sagara-san, sorry. Tomoya looks defeated. Let's see. For the time being, the most painful message has been made. <sighs> this guy looks so defeated. So, when's it coming out? Or should I say... When will I be able to ask when it's coming out? Uh, things aren't looking too good. They're just looking bad. We'll wait for a month for the series. And this is uh, Takashita. Uh, we'll wait a month for the series composition of the yet to be submitted later half and the script for episode 8 onwards but if you go past that we'll we'll finish it by hiring an another pro script writer we can't wait for Kasumi Sensei until the very end so basically if Utaha doesn't finish the job then they're gonna find someone else to finish the story and that's definitely not something that Tomoya wants to do and he's like no way And 
they're just kind of like, look, this is like we, it, if we don't get her to do it, then it's screwed, you know. <sighs> we must not crush the talent. Hmm. This is the people talking now. Let's see. The airing of the second season is near. I often hear people of people becoming unable to write from an anime adaptation failing, but people wind up like this from the anime succeeding. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see. Even if we d if we editors don't understand the fussing and nuisances. Nu nuisances of creators we can't just straight up deny them if we who are supposed to support our writers become mere users we can't release any geniuses into this world so he's conflicted yeah, Tomoya is like not even sure as to what to do uh Hearing other editors kind of doing their job is just, it's just tough. Let's see. I don't know if I get to get, get to those, to see those seriously down faces once every 10 years or not. I guess this guy's trying to cheer him up. I forgot who he is, honestly. Yeah, he's trying to give him advice. He's like, look, even if it fails, like, another work will come. If that succeeds, I might just forget about the failed works of the past. Oh, that sucks. So a lot is really riding on the script being finished and being as what they wanted. A lot of dialogue right here. So... That's why we search for every single time. I do apologize for that. Pure love hectopascal. I can't. I can never pronounce it. Has yet to fail or succeed. That depends on your future decisions. This is do or die. Well, Saga knows out there. She was waiting outside of his house for some reason. She's looking kind of cute. <sighs> She read the rough draft for volume nine. Say, so my heart didn't pound. It's not funny. It can't make you cry. No, it was too much and nothing but dry laughs kept from me. I could have cried from the bottom of my heart. Just what are you doing? Just what kind of novel did you make Kasumi Otaku write? So, she's not liking it either. Are you scared? I was like, do you understand why things wound up like this? Maybe you do, but maybe it's totally off. Are you scared of finding out? Say, I'm going inside. To do what? To think. To think about pure love. Hector Pascal with all my heart. I'll think the whole night. It's better to think as two instead of one. We'll think of a way to revive Kasumi and Taku together. And he's like, that's not something you have to do. In fact, I have to, to come up and come up with a conclusion by myself. And now she's angry. Like, she's mad. And I, I can understand why she's angry. Because, you know, it's her friend, you know. Like, why would you not want her to help as well? But the reason Utaha Senpai can't write, I don't care. I just can't stand, look, I can't just stand, I can't stand just looking after all. I love Kasumi Utako, well, you know, Utaha. I love pure love Hector Pascal. And, and I love you. What the fuck? She just confessed? Like, what? This is definitely... 
not what I expected of this chapter. If I could, like, kind of, like, if I could kind of sum it up in a few words, this chapter was kind of like, look, if you don't get, if we don't actually get the, the everything to work out, if we don't get Utaha to write the rest of the story, we're going to find someone else. And, and we saw Tomoya watching other editors and talking about how they should not waste that talent referring to Utaha. And he's conflicted because he doesn't know what to do. And Sagano has, like, no idea what's going on and then reads the rough draft and just gets angry. Like, and cries of anger because she does not like what is happening and the novel that or the, this this rough draft that's being made is not of her liking and she talks about how much she loves the work how she how she loves Kasumi which is Utaha but I'm guessing she's referring to the author and she loves him I don't know how to take that last part like is this a love confession on her part or is this because she's referring to I love you as well you know it's kind of unclear as to what she's referring to. But if you guys are keeping up with the series, let me know what you guys think. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay safe, guys, and I will catch you later.